Yo up guys, Mr. Gross here, back from MBR and Starcast, it's about some more live League of Legends gameplay for you guys today. Today we're going to play that as Jace, so I think this is our second time playing Jace in about as many weeks now. It looks like we will be facing against Renekton, possibly a Teemo. Well actually, no, Teemo would be mid, I just realised they had a support, I didn't think they had a support for a while, so yeah, Teemo mid against the Hari. Could be a nice game for Hari really, that. Could be interesting. Depends how safe he plays. Myself against Renekton. Um, don't really, haven't really played many Jace games before, so I'd be interested. And I haven't taken Ignite, so it might be a bit harder to kill Renekton. I was hoping to be like, someone like Teemo would have been a lot easier to. Renekton's ultimate could make it a bit harder, but I don't know. I, I don't know why I took Teleport. It's the first time I ever took on Jace, and I used to take it all the time back in Season 2, and I don't know. I stopped doing it, and uh, I thought I'd give it a little go today, see if we can make anything happen. Um, I don't know. Bottom. It's pretty tanky with Leona there, make, make things difficult. It's not as squishy as I'd have hoped, but I'd have much preferred to have um, jumped on like in the Nami and a Quinn, but we'll see what we can get up to. Might allow me to do some nice split pushing. Um, the last Jace game we played, I started off with Dorans. This is the second time we're doing it. We didn't really get off to a nice start because all five of them invaded me, or all five were waiting in the bush and ganked me, but. Their tactics failed as they just really didn't have anything, didn't do anything after that, so. And we got pretty fed that game in the end. So it was all good, so. We'll see what we can get up to this game. Um, I'm a big fan of Jace. I haven't really played him much, because I always like the tankier up top. And I feel if you play someone like Jace up top, you lose that tank. Depending on what team you comp you have. Um, but if he, he can be really nice. So we'll see what we can do against Renekton. We should be able to. Mr. Gunvard. Oh, Mr. Big Russell, Mr. Gunvard, who would have thought of the Battle of the Misters? There's even the Mr. Benex in here, if that's how you pronounce the names. Ah, three Misters, how about that? All coming out to play. Who will be the better Mister? That's the question. Um, I haven't really played much for League recently. Got the odd game, well, I've still got daily videos going to be coming out, there's no problem with that. But I've been playing a lot more WoW than what I have in League. I've been leveling up a new Druid now. Um, I can't even remember what a troll druid, I think. I think it's a troll. Something like that. It's really cool. I like the druid. You can change your shapeshifters so you can change through different things, which is nice. You can just roam around as a bear and a koga and some big, like, fluffy bears. That's pretty cool. I'd give at least a smiteless blue. I wasn't. You never know what they're going to do unless they say, you know, I've been there at times where I've went to give someone a smiteless one because I'm feeling nice that day and they haven't asked and then they still smite it when you're there. It's just like, what the hell? Because you lose so much, uh, or they lose like half the XP. It's nice for me, but uh, we missed 2 CS because of it as well. Uh, nice for me, but I like good for them. Let's see what we can get up to. He hasn't started off with armor, which is interesting. That double reju bead is going to be nice for getting some HP back, but for every time I do damage on him, um, I think it's going to be hitting a bit harder. And if I can keep it up, then GG. First blood like that? Wow. That's going to make my teleport a bit easier if my lanes are winning as well, to be honest. We'll see. It's still uh, early days. The thing we've got to be careful about is actually with the build we've gone for, is I have n no uh, hell pots. I'm just purely relying on um, purely relying on the good old fashioned Doran's blade. But at the moment, it seems to be uh, doing the job. But we'll keep it cool. Uh, as I missed that minion there, faffing around with my clicking. Oh, or Nectin's done there. If I had Ignite, this is the thing I was thinking. If I get someone low like this at early level, then with Ignite it would be GG for him right now. But because I don't, it just could happen. But it would be—it's going to be a lot harder to make something happen without that Ignite. But he's put for all his health pots now, which is really nice. I don't really know what he's doing, to be honest. He flashed low. Problem now is I've just burnt through all my mana, that's why I like the fairy charm at the start. Oh, what was going on in the spot lane? That OP. Um, but Doran's Raid is paying off nicely, it's just struggling for a little bit of mana. We go into our hammer form, we actually regen some. But it does mean that what we're attacking is going to push the lane up. We keep doing it more and more. But with Ignite, I could kill him easily. Even with probably using my flash, I could kill him, in fairness. Just don't know where the jungler is and what he's up to at the moment. He could be back in, but. 
don't know, he could be trying something really OP. Or not. I don't know who the jungler is. He's, um, didn't see your that you had teleport. I'm so bad. I guess he thought I was gonna ignite him when he flashed away. That's why I was quite surprised when he flashed. So. Good result for me. We got a nice uh, big wave pushing against him there. Problem is this: we open up to Lee Sin ganking us quite a bit. But we are done in this. Big time. A little turret hit won't hurt us. I'm just worried about Lee Sin because we have no ward. It could go against us. You know, we die at this point or make our burn our flash. Our earlier work was just kind of wasted and to a certain extent. So far though, so good. Ignite though, we'd have definitely been winning this so easily. Here is Lee Sin. So I was talking about. Ah, too greedy by me. I paid the ultimate price. I didn't have my E up. And he's in with that bad man Q, so it was pretty much jungler for jungler trade there. I got greedy. And that was exactly what I was talking about with the problem that running that. running so high up, um, I, off, I really opened it up for Lee Sin then, so. Fair play for him to come and take advantage of it. Gets a kill for himself. So does Elise. That's why I kind of baited it more because I saw Elise was coming and I just did that little bit. I don't know. I did enough to renect him. It was just unfortunately Elise got me and my E wasn't ready. Had that been ready, I may have been able to. I probably would have died, I think. But he would have took a lot more hits and he could have died possibly to Elise. But not the underworld. Jungler for jungler trade and farm wise, we're sitting about 14 CS up. So it's all good. Both flashes are down, but. I think that works more in my favour. He does have a uh, slice and dice, but I don't know. We'll see. Still uh, early days at the moment. I think he's warded top as well by looks of things. He's got some wards on him as well, so most likely. I only have the one ward on me, so he probably will see it getting put down, but maybe prevents these from. Oh, that was a terrible key down. That was a really bad cue by me. I was hoping I was stand up, stood on a ward and you would see me coming, but I don't know, I don't know really what my thought process was behind that was as much, but... I'm, lo I'm looking stronger when I fight him compared to when he fights me. And he's just popped his ultimate as well. So his ultimate's down now. His flash is down for maybe in a 80 seconds or something. But just not having that ignite kind of hurts the way you just stand a minion. <laughs> uh, everything is kind of uh, falling down for our Renekton at the moment. The problem is we're just still struggling on mana. He, oh, he's only just warden there. I guess he didn't have a warden there before. Don't kill it. There we go. Happy days. Uh, yeah, it's kind of pretty even at the moment, really. I I could do more. I just don't have the HP. There was a war. Ah, oh, this could be bad for me. Um, I was trying to fiddle in and out of uh, getting the kill then, but. It wasn't worth me dying. I was worried. I wasn't sure what his cooldowns was because I wasn't really paying attention. I was really worried that that ignite was going to kill me if he stunned me, which he kind of did. But he kind of got away just to, just about. But he could have. I he was looking for if I stood around trying to get the kill like I was looking for, he could have easily kind of uh, tried to jump on me and try and just always die. But um, he would always have died. But he could have killed me possibly. But not to worry. Uh, so far, really, so good for us in this uh, top lane. Um, it's a case of do we get a ward or health pots now? We just have to hope that our Doran's Blade is OP, as OP as Lee Sin is. Or Q saved his life there. Oh, of 
completely forgot we got this teleport as well. This is what I mean. I forget I even have it. Too busy. I'd better have taken like night to be honest. But I don't know. We may be able to make some happen, but there's just no wards on the map at the moment. Nami doesn't. Oh, Nami. So Nami, the fact that Nami hasn't even got a sight stone on her. Lee Sin's five to one. Wow. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> You got one off me, but where the other four come from? I never even heard them come up. But yeah, there's no wars on bottom, so you know, unless I teleport on a minion, then, uh, which is pretty obvious, nothing's really gonna come of it, to be honest, which is unfortunate. Even that armor that Renekton has on the moment, the moment has done nothing to stop me. Especially when we get our brutalizer, which is gonna be OP. I'm looking, I'm feeling uh, very happy with this game so far. Just not the fact that I te teleport, te teleport. It was, probably was a bad idea. Uh, oh well. OP tactics. It could come into use at some point. It's still uh, early days. And bottom uh, doing the job anyway, so. So is Lee Sin, who's that mid laner teamer? I don't know if he's still about like me. Lee Sin seems to be mid all the time. Trading back and forth. Problem is, is that I have no health pots. Sure, kind of hurt me. At least it's coming for the gank, so I'm going to try and save my acceleration gate for this one. Don't want to go in with the minions attacking me. Ah, she did stun her. It's not going to happen. So there's Lee Sin. Like if he did her. Uh... Ah, oh, no, at least. That went horribly wrong. She went too deep. That's why I didn't really want to chase. Not purely because of the fact that Lee Sin was. I knew Lee Sin was coming, which he did was. Um, which is why I'm glad I didn't. But uh, Lee Sin's so fed now, and we were never going to get Renekton in that instance. So he got away. He flashed. There wasn't really much we could have asked for. So did he get? He gets a kill for that as well. It's never good times. I don't know. Dodging. He doesn't have his ultimate, but I have no um, ignite. I had to burn flash, which I didn't really want to do. Then a bit too greedy. He's going for it. It is dodgy. It's not really where I want to be. We'll uh, take these wolf camp and then we're back as a happy, I guess happy that we didn't die. And we have a nice CS lead over an and just before she got a kill. Lee Sin's just got stupid fed from somewhere. I really don't know how, but he is fed at the moment, so. So how thoughts are helpful to have a bit more sustain. And again, just remember that we have teleport, which could be used, I guess, to go back to the lane at the moment. So lane's pushing. Um... Or used on bottom, but again, there's just no wards on bottom. So unless I go, go in. Ah, oh, Quinn, let's dive. What's she doing? She's crazy. Go in on a minion. That's just not going to happen. Interest is up top at the moment. Uh, what happened there? It was like a fear. Oh my god. Why Elise went again? Why she did it and she just didn't back when she saw Lee Sin coming? I don't know. She's just annoyed me now. Cause she, every time she's come up top, it's just gone bad. Like, she just doesn't. It doesn't make sense why she's doing this because Lee Sin's so fed. And, oh, this is annoying. Now everything's just falling apart completely over that. I've just. Dying for no reason. There's fights I don't even want to fight, and I'm just getting killed. For the sake of Lee's coming up for no reason. Leeson's just getting fed. Now Renekton's three, three kills up. That's just jokes. It's not a good day. Horn is Renekton now. He just slices and flipping dices over the wall. Oh, of course. Our oh, teleport hasn't really come in use at all this game. 
probably a bad idea. Could have maybe secured me a kill or two. If I hadn't taken it, but such is life. That's not the reason why I've lost top lane, because I took teleport. It's purely because of the least and the least sin. And junglers have just really messed me up. My junglers just really fucked me up this game, I feel. I've achieved nothing from her ganks. Only she's got kills. And I've got Renekton's now got fed because she's died to him twice. Both for unnecessary reasons, really. Slowly throwing this game. It's making it hard for me. I felt really comfortable at the start, but at the moment, the way it's going, Renekton's so strong. At least he's going the damage route, kind of, so. Let's see how that goes. He won't get too tanky, but it's going to be a tricky game. He's trying to get BS swords ASAP if he can, really. Or even the last whisper, I guess, would be quite nice. Just need that life still, I feel. Necton, the damage and the kills he's got is a trade. Like trade off really nicely. Obviously, the idea with me is I've got a kite on, but once he gets on top of me, which he can do with that slice and dice, he does some big damage. I wanted that big minion, but it wasn't going to happen. Not with Lee Sin in that bush. Or wherever Lee Sin might be. I'm going to chuck my ward there because I'm really scared that Lee Sin's trying to do something. Crazy here as he is at the moment. There he is. It's probably gonna be a bad idea to uh I'll get queued by Lee Sin now. <laughs> of course. Um I should have never turned back to hit Renekton, that was a bad idea because as soon as I did that, it just meant Lee Sin could um close the gap. So uh, I really don't know how Lee Sin's got so fair. That's my f second death to him now, but my first, I died to him once and he had five, four of the kills from that. He's just so versatile. And the stun combo of Renekton and Lee Sin, I just can't, I can't deal with it. Not with how fed they are now. I don't really think it's my fault. That that death was definitely my fault, 100%. I shouldn't have died then. I was silly for doing what I did to turn back. There was no need for me. I achieved nothing from doing it but dying, and I would have. And again, without Ignite, I was never going to be able to really make anything happen. So, that uh, was a bad idea by me. I was overconfident in what I could do, and then I was hoping I'd still be able to get back, but at least um, as soon as he lands that Q of how fed he is, and he's even running Ignite, it's just game over. They all seem to be mid at the moment. Hello, how's Quinn? Quinn is fed, but... It's a scrappy game. I thought this game was going really well, but for me now, I need to pretty have a nice CS. But that's about it, really. Let me make some plays happen. Uh, also low. Nothing to be had, unfortunately. Oh god, no way. <gasps> I was flashing over just to make try and get another hit on her. That was uh, a joke. Oh, here we go. Welcome me into the game now. That was what we wanted. We had the showpiece, everyone watching. It was done. His OP uh, executes. It's not worth uh, staying about. We're looking strong, that's just set. You look at our gold now, how much it's just skyrocketed from that SOP. Nami, who's bought, bought no wards this game, so I haven't been able to even teleport. I'm the only person in this game who's actually bought wards, is now robbing my top farm. Um, right, what the fuck? OP support. Quinn has been fed, but. Right. The idea of support is to uh, ward the map, in theory. That's just not happening. I'm not going to push without any, ter uh, without any wards. Because that is why I'm renekton there. Crazy ass Nami. On a suicide mission if uh, she always me stay there. Now because I have no inventory slots for wards, we're going to have no ward coverage whatsoever on our map. What's their warden? And where is Nami? She just bought her Athens instead. So, no wards again. Just going to... Could hurt us really. But 
I'm feeling strong. That that was a really nice rest. Trying to make something happen with our teleport, hopefully, somewhere. Oh, Lisa's in trouble. The flash over. Lisa is on the hunt. Where is she going to go now? The problem with repellent. Whoa. What the hell just happened there? That was insane. Oh, I missed my eye. Oh, I think I actually landed my Q. Oh, beautiful. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? Oh. I can't believe a Hari got away, if anything, to be honest. We are now up and rolling now. Game is uh, anybody's, really. We just got all sunny fair. Pulled me straight back into the game after the bumpy start we had. Which, again, which I just don't believe was my fault. It's showing now that we can play it. 149 CS, highest in the game as well, so... Thank you, Renekton. And we get our blood first, so why not? It'd be nice for the uh, trade in more than anything, really. I get two wards. I'm gonna get some health wards, but we we have no wards, and I'm fed, so I might as well buy them. As our support doesn't seem to care. I'm not gonna go as far as the sight stone, because it'd just be pointless on Jace, but it'd be a waste of item slot. But whilst we have some free gold, I guess um, we have to do. Where's Timo? At least Timo hasn't got like massive AP, so those mushrooms would be just more tickling than anything. What is going on at the bottom? To the rescue we come. Finally, my teleport is uh, paid off for something good. Double kill. Thank you very much, Teleport. All worth it in the end. Finally. Been waiting. That's the moment we've been waiting for. That's why we took Teleport. Oh, motherfucking pee. Or, uh, carry on pushing top for a little bit. As long as our team doesn't die in the middle lane. Which could well happen. Oh, they could go. Get some kit. Or maybe I was wrong. A Hari fighting Lee Sin in the 1v1 is never. Never gonna win, but I freaked me wrong. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? What a weird game. I just don't understand it. Uh, I can't believe she beat Lee Sin in the 1v1. She is pretty fed, but Lee Sin is fed and he's a melee champion, so it should have really been an easy win for him. And we get this top as well, which is nice. They surrendered as well. Boom, so. Shows you linear, winning your lane doesn't mean everything. As Renekton and Fury won that lane because I felt I got screwed over by the junglers. Uh, but it very quickly became a team game, and our teleport actually paid off at the end, and uh, the other kills we got before that. So it was GG. Nice fun game as Jace. That was really good fun. Uh, so we are the king of misters in that game. But nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take it easy and have a good day. Peace.